Today is a good day to think of warmth. It's cold outside, but there's warmth inside your body. Try to find the spot that's warmer than every other part of the body and focus your attention there. Hold in mind the image of fire, and that fire can radiate heat. This helps you to resist the cold outside. There's lots of water outside right now. It reminds you that you do have potentials inside. On days when it's really hot, you can focus on the cooler spots. On days when you're feeling lightheaded, you can focus on the parts of the body that are more solid, heavy. And when you're feeling heavy and down, think of the lightness of the breath. The breath can go through everything, go through atoms. These potentials are there in the body. All they need to do is for you to be ex provoking them with perceptions in the mind. And sometimes they'll manifest themselves very weakly, sometimes more strongly. But they're there to take advantage of. And to remind you that there are even more important potentials in the mind. The mind has the potential for sensuality, ill will, harmfulness, but also has the potential for the opposites of those kinds of thoughts. These two are considered to be dhatu, or properties, elements, and they can be provoked. So try to provoke the skillful ones. Think in ways that incline the mind to renunciation. Think in ways that incline it to goodwill and compassion. In other words, use your thinking as a tool. Don't just let the mind think whatever it wants to think. Think about what the consequences of your thinking are going to be. It's by looking at the long-term consequences that you develop wisdom and discernment. And by taking advantage of the potentials that you have here right now, that you, that's the way you can develop long-term consequences that you're going to be happy with. So you don't just sit here accepting what's coming up. You realize that you're shaping what's coming up right now, and you shape it both for the sake of the present moment, we're comfortable abiding in the present moment, and for the future, to create good conditions in the future so you can keep on practicing. So mindfulness actually takes all three time frames into consideration. From the past, you remember the lessons you learned from the past. In the present, you try to notice which potentials you have right now. And you think about the future consequences of how you develop those potentials right now. That way you've got past, present, and future all coming together in a skillful way. Good lessons from the past, good actions in the present, good consequences now and on into the future.